It's a countdown of the most wonderful time of year. Come join us at Balsa Circle for your creative decor, DIY, gift, and party ideas all for this holiday. Let's get started. Today, we're gonna be showing you three ways to use wrapping paper that you have around the house that doesn't have to be Christmas, it doesn't have to be holiday, being creative and creating a winter wonderland dream package that you're gonna be giving to your friends and your family and they'll absolutely adore you. So here with look number one, we're just gonna need some tape, scissors, ribbons, paint pen and wrapping paper. This wrapping paper that we chose is basically a dark kind of navy blue or a dark blue paper that's gonna be acting as our winter wonderland sky for this specific look. Now, as we wrap this, I want to give you a little tidbit on how to create a really nice crispy and clean wrapping paper experience for you and the receiver. Basically, it's like a wetsuit. You have to do it super tight to the box, make those folds super clean, and that way your box looks flawless like you paid someone, someone to do it. And I know people who actually pay people to wrap their presents, which is that's amazing. But you can do it yourself. Save you a penny or two. Here we're taking a paint pen and we're just creating these really cute, you know, all sized snowflakes here or, you know, a flock covered Christmas tree. You've got dots. You can do whatever you want just as long as it looks like a really nice kind of windstorm or snowstorm on your package. All you have to do is put it on the very top. If you want to go that extra mile, you can do it on all sides of this package, but we decided to just do the top there. Basically, we're just taking 7 8 inch organza ribbon with a satin center. You do want to get a little fancy pants on the ribbon here just because it's going to add a little bit of pizzazz. It's on the detail, as you've heard us say a million times. And as you can see with your artistry and the snow blizzard on this package, no one's going to guess that you ran out of Christmas paper or that you didn't have paper in the house. They're going to think it was all on purpose and you just got super creative. So this look number two, we just took some flocking spray, cord ribbons, some brown packaging paper. Hence, once again, we're not using Christmas paper. Here we're just picking some things that we had kind of from the years past on our mantle, on our doors that signify a little bit of a piece or thumbnail of a Christmas kind of scene from a movie. So here we're taking some flocking spray. I do want to kind of give you a hint here. You might want to let it dry overnight, maybe 24 hours or on the can it might say how many hours because it might be a little bit wet for a while. So you're just going to glue that on and put it on those little decorations that you picked out. And here we're taking some rat tail of red and green and we're basically just bringing it around the box a couple times. It's not the traditional, you know, bow and wrapping experience. We actually just did knots there and the reason why is because we wanted to make it look like you got in your hands this this uh, little piece of Christmas scenery outside and into your, your heart and your home. So that one's a super cute idea as well. So here for our last look, we're basically just using some tissue paper, satin ribbons, non-woven fabric, and our craft glitter foam. So we're starting out with a box and covering it with tissue paper. Yes, for those last minute kind of baby shower gifts or you know birthday gifts, use that white that you have there as a base. And as you can see, we're using a non-woven silver on white fabric. It's kind of like a florist wrap that people use to cover the, the flowers during the holiday. So we have this around the house and why not use it for wrapping paper, right? And we're going to pair it really nicely with the silver glittered foam sheets. This comes in a pack. We have a couple of colors. Just check in that description below. You're going to put the outline or stencil of obviously the person that you're going to be giving it to. So we did an H for Holly or Henry and we're just gonna hole punch that guy and we're gonna put that on the actual package. So basically you're telling the receiver or your friend or family how specific and detailed you got with this. They're never gonna know that you ran out of you know, paper with all the other gifts that you created or you just didn't have any in the house. So here we're just pairing the two ribbons of kind of a, a satin navy blue ribbon with a sparkly thinner silver ribbon on there. And obviously it goes so nicely and pairs well with that silver glittered foam sheet that you create the letter out of. You know how they say it takes 10 seconds to see what a person is like? Package, showing this here, it's like they care, they love me. 
I'm gonna love them tenfold back. So that's what we want for all these packages. Don't even worry if you don't have anything in the house. You can create it as yourself with whatever you have into winter wonderland magic as you can see hopefully you guys enjoyed this if you did make sure you like our video so we can't wait for you to join us for another video until then stay creative